Hello, students. Let's see this question of kinematics from Pathfinder. It's a build up your understanding question number 40. So the question states a straight track is tangent to a circular track of radius r. Two material points a and b start simultaneously from the common point of the tracks. The point a moves with a uniform velocity u on the straight track, whereas the point b on the circular track always keeping itself collinear with the center of the circular track and the point a. Find suitable expression for the magnitude of acceleration of the point B when it is at an angular position theta. So let me make my own diagram and it's here. So this is the circular track and this is the straight track. At t is equal to 0, A and B start moving from the common point. A with a uniform velocity u along the straight track and B along the circular track in a such a way that when A reaches here, B is always collinear with the A in the center. So B have to update its uh, velocity and direction always. It has to be along the circle. So it has to be moved with a, uh, with a suitable velocity as a function of theta such that B is always collinear with the, uh, this A in center. A is moving with a uniform velocity u. So at time t, distance traveled by A is this ut r is the radius and by the time t the velocity of a has become say v and the angle rotated is theta so from this diagram you can see uh, tan theta tan theta you can see from here this is theta so tan theta is ut by r so tan theta is uh, ut by r so differentiate this with respect to time so you will get a uh, sec square theta d theta by dt is equal to uh, u by r so i may need the value of d theta by dt later so let me write d theta by dt so d theta by dt is u by r and sec, th sec square theta will go onto that side will become cos square theta so that is my equation one now this a by the time uh, b reaches here at this position has traveled a distance l along the circle so that l is equal to the distance traveled by is the arc of the circle that l is obviously uh, r theta and theta is obviously has to be measured in the radian so velocity of the this particle b v will be uh, dl by dt and that will be uh, r d theta by dt and then from here, uh, I will put the value of d theta by dt. So now I've got the linear speed of the particle b at time t. So that is a r and this is a u by r uh, cos square theta. So this r and r will get cancelled. So I've got the linear velocity of b as a u cos square theta. Now let's go to the next page. So velocity of b, I've got... Uh, u cos square theta and now at the at this moment when it has reached here so it has a velocity moving along the circle so it will have some centripetal acceleration and also some tangential acceleration centripetal acceleration has always been along towards center and tangential acceleration could be along the velocity opposite to velocity depending on the speed is decreasing or increasing and you can see here uh, as theta, this v is a function of theta, uh, as theta is increasing, so uh, v, v is decreasing. So speed is actually decreasing, speed of b is decreasing. So its tangential uh, acceleration is actually the retardation. So the uh, just I want to show the magnitude of uh, that acceleration. So the direction of the tangential acceleration will be here. And this will come, obviously, if I solve, it will come obviously with negative sign so uh, first let me solve this ac so ac is very simple ac is equal to uh, v square by r and v square by r is the u square by r and that will become cos power 4 theta and that is the equation 3 and tangential acceleration tangential acceleration along the circular arc particle is moving so this tangent so that will be a v dv by ds that s is l so v dv by dl and uh, dv i can write uh, 
this dv by dl i can write dv by d theta and dl this i can write dl by d theta just put the value of these things so in place of v i can write uh, u cos square theta and derivative of this dv by d theta uh, would be u uh, 2 cos theta into minus sine theta and dl by d theta l is equal to r theta so dl by d theta is only r so this is r so now the simplification will give me minus this is 2 minus 2 u square by r and how much cos cube theta and sine theta that is my equation 4 and as i told that uh, this uh, at is actually the retardation why because as theta increasing cos square theta decreasing so v is decreasing and that's why at has come to be negative and we have to write the find the magnitude of the acceleration of b so i will write only the magnitude of at so now whatever we had got we had got uh, ac was how much ac was uh, v square by r cos square theta and uh, magnitude of at is equal to twice v square by r i think that was how much yeah ac was v square uh, u square by r u square by r cos power 4 theta and this is u square by r 2u square by r magnitude cos cube theta into sine theta so a net this is ac and this is at so a net will be a vector sum of ac and at and that would be square root of ac square plus at square from ac and at you can see u square by r into a cos cube theta is common so that already i'm taking outside u square by r cos cube theta and then here one cos theta will be there its square is cos square theta and here sine theta will be 2 sine theta will be there and its square will be a 4 sine square theta so uh, finally i will get a net is equal to u square by r cos cube theta and this cos square theta plus 1 sine square theta would be 1 so that would be a square root of 1 plus 3 sine square theta that is our final answer. Thank you.